So Genie has an inbuilt eye examination module for ophthalmologists. This is a special module because I find that practices who use this module can replace some other parts of Genie just because this module exists. It's, there's a lot of flexibility and you can use this module as you see fit. And there are two different versions of this module. I'm going to show you the first version, then I'm going to show you how you can change over to the second version. Now, a lot of people on this call are fully trained in ophthalmology, so I'm not going to be spending too much time in what the different options mean. So I'd encourage it at the end of this uh, presentation to have a look at this module and play around with this module, maybe even for a test patient and see how this module can work for your practice. So I'm first going to show you the first version. This is accessible. In the tools menu of Genie, I'm going to point out there's an eye examination option. So if I go to the tools menu, then eye examination, you'll see that there's different tabs at the top. And of these different tabs, there are different drop down menus you can save menu options for your, for your frequently used reasons. There's quite a few other tabs here as well that you could document findings to do with the eye and a whole list of other measurements that are available here. So as you look through these tabs, I encourage you to use the different options if they suit your practice. If you want to have a look at the second version of the module in each person's user preferences in the general tab, you need to tick that use ophthalmic surgery exam window. Now what happens if I go to the tools menu and eye examination window again, it's a much more comprehensive version of what we saw before, including more measurements you can insert and different fields that are here. So one nice thing I like about when you use this module is that if you put in the smell and values, it does calculate logmar for you. And sometimes fields from one tab do insert into another tab. Once you save an eye examination, it's visible here in the clinical file with a preview available for anybody to view. So the eye examination module is the first tip that I like to show to ophthalmologists. If you're not already using it, I fully encourage you to have a look at this because there's a lot of work that's gone in here and a lot of different fields that have been inserted. The next tool I like to recommend for Genie is the compare tool. Now, what the compare tool is useful for is it's if you need to look at two images side by side. So maybe you've done a surgery for a patient and you want to compare a pre-surgery photo of the eye versus post-surgery photo. Maybe you want to look at changes to an eye over time. Using the compare tool will let you compare two images side by side. So for this example patient, you'll see I've got a right arm and a left arm picture. If I wanted to compare, what I do is I open up the image browser of the patient first. I right click on the first image I wish to compare and I choose compare. Now you can see that there's two attachments side by side with my first one on my left. I choose my right one on the right and so I can make comparisons between two images. So depending on the nature of your practice, you may want to use the compare tool to help you make comparisons between the images. The next tool for Genie users I like to point out are procedure templates. This is where you commonly do a procedure. It can often bring in a procedure name. So for instance, here I'm typing in rhinoplasty. If I choose add to menu and choose okay, it's gonna show you the first part of using a procedure template is that whenever I choose add to menu, if I remove my procedure name, I can choose a procedure name here. That's one quick time saving part of procedures. Now there's other parts of the procedure window you might be commonly doing. And rather than type them in every time, Genie can bring them in automatically for you. For instance, pre-operation and post-operation diagnoses. Indication if you use that, maybe the same pre-op notes every time you do a certain procedure. In the quotes tab, maybe it's the same item numbers that you are doing. In the op notes tab, maybe you do the same or similar operation notes. So if you want to have this as a template, you choose save template and OK. 
Now, what happens if you want to book in a patient for a procedure and you want to bring in information from your template? When we book our procedure, if I choose the load template button at the bottom, I can choose my procedure template. And now you'll see the information that I've listed before, including indication, pre-op notes, item numbers, and my operation notes have automatically appeared here in the template. So I strongly recommend if you're not using procedure templates, it's to use procedure templates where you're doing a same or similar procedure and you're typing in the same information each time. A question I often get asked is what happens if there is a small part of your procedure that you want to change when you're doing it. For instance, you might do a slightly different measurement. Maybe you're doing an injection and a slightly different measurement of injection. You have your procedure template as being 99% what's the same. And when you're actually using it for a patient, you change that 1% as you need.